Hello everybody and thank you for joining us here at T Geekdom. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And with that out of the way, let's get started. So this is Dragon Ball Super Explained in 8 minutes or less. Following the death of Boo, the Earth is at peace. Goku trains on King Kai's planet, then a new threat awakens on the other side of the universe and his name is Lord Beerus, God of Destruction. He wakes up from his nap because of a prophecy of a new challenger, a Super Saiyan God. With the aid of his attendant Whis, they try travel to King Kai's planet. Goku states he's never heard of him, but challenges Beerus to a fight and Beerus makes short work of Super Saiyan 3, leaving him unconscious. Following that, Beerus travels to Earth to see Prince Vegeta. The entire Z Fighters cast and family are celebrating Bulma's birthday on her yacht, while Whis and Beerus introduce themselves to everyone as old friends of Vegeta and are invited to enjoy the party. Having never tried Earth food, Beerus becomes enraged when Majin Buu ruins his chance to eat pudding and vows to destroy the Earth. Bulma slaps Beerus, Beerus slaps Bulma, Vegeta snaps, attacks Beerus, and lands a few blows. Before Beerus destroys Vegeta, Goku arrives and says that they can ask the dragon if he knows of this Super Saiyan God. Shenron explains the only way to achieve Super Saiyan God is for five good-hearted Saiyans to transfer their power to a sixth but they realize they only have five, Gohan, Goten, Trunks, Goku, and Vegeta. Videl then surprises everyone and says she's pregnant, giving them their sixth. Goku transforms and though he's defeated, Beerus is so impressed with the new power that he spares Earth. We also find out that Whis is actually the most powerful being in the universe and Beerus' teacher. A year passes and both Vegeta and Goku have been training under Whis. Meanwhile, former soldiers in the Frieza Force arrive on Earth and use the dragon to revive Frieza. Frieza goes off and trains for several months, return, and he and his men attack the Earth. During this, Goku reveals a new form called Super Saiyan Blue, and Frieza shows a new form himself called Golden Frieza. They fight, Goku gets injured, and Vegeta steps in to reveal Super Saiyan Blue, but Goku gets the killing blow on Frieza anyways. Goku and Vegeta continue to train with Whis until Beerus' brother Champa, the god of destruction for Universe 6, arrives with his attendant Vados, who is Whis' older sister. They're here in search of Super Dragon Balls that are scattered across both Universe 6 and 7 since they're twin universes. Beerus and Champa decide to hold a tournament to see who gets to use them. Goku fights in the first round, wins. Then Goku fights Frost, Universe 6's version of Frieza. Goku and Piccolo lose. Turns out Frost was cheating though, allowing Goku to compete again. Vegeta tells Piccolo to step down. Vegeta wins. Fights again, wins again. Then Vegeta fights Kaba, a Saiyan from Universe 6. During the fight, Vegeta forces him to go Super Saiyan, then beats him with Super Saiyan Blue. The last member of Universe 6 is hit, and Vegeta loses. Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue KO Kin. Hit reveals he's been holding back because he can't kill, and Goku quits in disgust. This causes Hit to quit during the next match, and Universe 7 wins. Zeno, the god of all universes, appears. Goku befriends him and promises to visit. Later, future Trunks returns. There's a new threat in his timeline, Goku Black. Black follows Trunks back and fights Goku until he's forced back into his timeline. Whis recognizes the time ring on Black's hand, so they travel to Universe 10's Supreme Kai Gawasu, who is in charge of the rings. They discover that the Supreme Kai apprentice Zamasu has the same energy signature of Black. Goku spars with him and wins. Goku's then summoned to meet with Zeno, who says that he wants to play with Goku, but Goku says he's busy, so Zeno gives him a button to call him whenever. Then Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks travel to the future. Black appears, transforms into Super Saiyan Rose, and defeats Vegeta and Goku. Zamasu appears to stop the final attack, and reveals he and Black are working together. The three escape and return to the past. Meanwhile, Zamasu, from the main timeline, learns about the Super Dragon Balls. The deities and Goku return to Kawasu, and Beerus kills Zamasu. The Saiyans and Bulma travel to the future, only to see nothing's changed. Goku and Vegeta fight Zamasu and Black. Turns out Black is the Zamasu from the past who used the Super Dragon Balls to steal Goku's body, and the Zamasu helping him is the Zamasu of Trunks' timeline who used the balls to become immortal. During this, Trunks gets a new form called Super Saiyan Rage, 
and holds them off so everyone else can escape to the past. They get healed up and go back to the future. Vegeta fights Black, Goku fights Zamasu, Black uses rage causing a rip in space that creates clones. Goku and Vegeta face off against the clones as Zamasu races off to kill Trunks and Bulma, then everyone reunites. Zamasu and Black use their Patara rings to fuse into one being while Gowasu and Supreme Kai arrive to help. They give Patara rings to Vegeta and Goku, who transform into Vegito. Vegito beats to fuse Zamasu but loses all energy in the earrings and splits. Trunks absorbs the energy from every everyone on Earth then slices fused Zamasu in half. While celebrating, a strange cloud envelops the sky, it's immortal Zamasu, and his evil is starting to spread across the universe. Goku, while looking for one last Senzu bean, finds the button Zeno gave him, and when Zeno arrives, he decides to erase the universe. Everyone's returned back to the past before everything's erased. Goku returns later to grab a now floating Zeno, and brings him back to the past to become current Zeno's friend. We send Trunks to a point in the future before everything happened, but has to live in a world with two versions of himself. Time passes, and the two Zenos decide to hold a multi Universal tournament. The eight weakest universes will participate, ten fighters each, in a battle royale. No killing, and when a team gets eliminated, the entire universe is destroyed. Also, the one who wins will be given a wish from the Super Dragon Balls. Universe 11 boasts the strongest participant, Jiren. 48 hours pass and all the universes assemble. For Universe 7, we have Krillin, Android 18, Gohan, Piccolo, Vegeta, Goku, Master Roshi, Tien, Android 17, and Frieza, who Goku convinces to fight in exchange for being wished back. Universe 6 has added two Namekians and two more Saiyans to their team. The fight begins and Universe 9 is the first team eliminated. Krillin gets eliminated next and then Universe 10 is the next to go. Tien goes next. Roshi's elimination is due to self-sacrifice. Hit is eliminated by Jiren. We see two Universe 6 Saiyans use Patara rings to fuse into a new being Kefla only to be eliminated by Goku. Universe 2 is the next one on the chopping block. Gohan and Piccolo get the two Namekians from Universe 6, causing Universe 6 to be the next destroyed. Sadly, Piccolo is eliminated next. Universe 4 follows suit. Android 18 eliminates herself to save 17. Universe 3 goes out next thanks to 17. Good save 18. Now we're down to just Universe 7 and Universe 11. Gohan sacrifices himself to take out a Universe 11 member, and Vegeta is then eliminated by Jiren. Now let's talk about Goku for a second. He has at this point already fought Jiren and lost handedly, drained all of his energy and even try to spirit bomb only to have it knocked back into himself. This causes his body to awaken a technique known as Ultra Instinct. The body reacts without the aid of the user and Goku is able to turn the tide on Jiren. But the power runs out and Goku spends much of the fight trying to get back to that state. Finally we're down to Android 17, Frieza, Goku, and Jiren. Android 17 and Frieza are down and Goku awakens Ultra Instinct one last time to defeat Jiren but then it runs out again. Goku and Frieza use the last of their power to force Jiren off the stage. Android 17 wins the Tournament of Power and uses the wish to bring back the destroyed universes. Whis revives Frieza, who runs off to restart his army. And this brings us to the end of Dragon Ball Super, at least for now. But when they come out with more, we will definitely be back. But until then, thank you for subscribing, and we'll see you next time.